Fun Gamer Jax. Uh, today, I'm with PC Builder Lou, and we're testing out the performance on these computers. And today, we're also wearing our blue blockers, and Luda Aris is right here. Yeah, Luda Aris is pretty mad at PC Builds with Lou because he's gonna be on this Asus Rob computer instead of uh, um, the, the RS. RS. So, so what he's we're, on my side. Yeah, he's on Jackson's team now. And so what we're gonna do real quick for you guys is a boot race. We're gonna see whose computer will Boots boot up faster. first. Okay, so I'll do the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Gamer! <laughs> <laughs> Gamer, I like that. Okay. Let's okay. see whose computer will boot up first. Yep. So I'm on this HDR screen that's really super cool. I'll let Gamer Jax use this for his gaming because I use a big OLED monitor. But this thing goes like 240 megahertz. I'll show you that. And this one goes 75 megahertz, which is still pretty good considering most screens only go like 60. So we're truly in some gaming mojo right now. What yeah. do you think, Gamer Jax? I think we're Oh, look. Good. My computer got to the boot screen first. Guess I lost the race. Yeah, you lost the race there, Gamer Jax. Uh, well, that's okay. Um, I think it's because earlier I was racing daddy with this computer just to do a little test on the races. So, yeah, this computer took like forever. And my normal computer was like, if you snapped, it was done. But this one still took long. Right. Now, both of these computers have the AMD Expo profile set up on them. Um, and this one, like I said, is the 7900X with the 3080 Ti. Here. Now, I need to plug in my <clears throat> my LAN cable, Jax. Okay. What is happening? This is like a race here. This is competitive. It's like, this one seems higher, but when you look at this one, this one looks higher. But when you look at back at this one, that one looks higher. But when you back, it's like, it's hard to see. I guess we'll just see when they say play. Yeah, this screen, right, the non-HDR, just 75 hertz, like, that almost looks cleaner than this screen right here. That's, what? That's kind of crazy. Now, what happens if I turn my HDR off? Display settings. Okay. Well, that's a Samsung screen over here, and this is the Asus. Yeah, Lamborghini. Asus screen. But I didn't really make it look any better though. That uh, switching it. I'm this is here. really competitive here. Like, I know I have said that like three times in a row. Yours is like but, winning. Who's gonna win? Like, I don't. Understand. I don't know who's gonna win here. I, I, this was I that. look at this one, and then okay, I look at this one, and then when I look this back at this one because I said this one's higher, this one's higher. But when I, see what I mean? Yeah, we don't have any true benchmarking software up right now. Like, Which one's gonna win? The benchmarking software would say exactly what it did. Looks like yours is gonna win. Oh, what's gonna win? It's oh, oh my! Wait. Oh, it's Wait. it did the exact same time. So mine's available to stream while you're available to play. So that's kind of cool. Think I win. Yeah, I think you slightly won. Yeah. All right. So look at that max fps I'm pretty over sure, 200 i'm pretty sure it's 207 yeah but i'm gonna start going here oh jeez why is my car breaking i'm gonna restart that's right now you might be saying what game is this well this is a new one on the channel it's called beam and g i'm gonna play this game the next week and we're looking at that fps which is so, over 200 frames I'm you guys see that I'm gonna pick this car. On a 75 hertz, 1080p so monitor. So I if I go here to mods, I can go. This is, oh, these are all ultra high mods. settings, right, Gamer Jacks? Yep. 
this was so ultra 200 high. frames activate all mods. at the high at the low 188 so, 190 frames in ultra high settings and that's the rtx 3090 ti for the gpu 7600 amd5 um zen 4 processor let's go oh amd expo 32 gigs of ram it makes this game play like amazing okay so there's this mod called i think if you go up here show them one it's more called the danworth That's... it's called the danworth d250 so you're in the mod so, kit area or yeah. the workstation so then, area of steam so then when you get that you can go over here whoa look at that open carriage one what? that one's sick i want to see that one dog play that one okay that one so, looks cool. It's like this one, this this pack of mods is like. Whoa, look how fast it loaded. It's like a. 238 a frames per second. And I'm going to pick another one here, guys. So it's going to be. I'm going to go back to the Wentworth. This is one of my favorite ones. It's, it's called Wings. Oh, wow. So it's going. That going bus to has play. like airplane wings on it yeah oh, geez. oh no, you just no, lost no, your front no, wing no, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. that wasn't supposed to do that oh my goodness I, it wasn't supposed to do that i think i think i wasn't supposed to lose my front wings but i did 187 frames okay, per so second turn off the part. this time i'm gonna leave ultra here. high settings I'm gonna leave come on to man the left. So, amazing oh, oh, no. i can't believe i built Fine. these rigs yes! Oh. <laughs> yep, that's what happens. Now it's performance time for PC Builder Lou's PC. Hey, gamer fans. It's your boy Lou, PC Builds with Lou, and I'm here testing they're the performance. They're not your gamer fans. <laughs> they're my not... gamer fans, too. Okay. They're PC fans. All right, PC Builder fans out there, gamer fans. Hopefully, you all join us for a lot of fun. Look, what we're doing is testing the performance of this Asus ROG motherboard. Uh, this is the 3080 Ti, and we're gonna go max settings. Um, I'm just gonna go 256, I'm gonna go 1440, and then I'm gonna go. So it seems like right now it's doing better because it's only at 100. Mine went to 200. But Ultra we'll high see. settings we'll across see. the board, so let's go. Okay, so what game are you playing? This is Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first one. And I'm excited about the new one that's coming out soon on the 28th. The campaign October. comes out. Yeah, the, the campaign comes out on the 20th. So uh, let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. So uh, we're getting all ready for October here. Yeah, I got the Scarecrow character. With his like scary dog, yeah, hyena. I was about to install on my Beam and G. I was about to install a scary car mod. Stay tuned for that at the end. He has the pumpkin. We're just the pumpkin smasher. So I'm gonna. Yep, one of the weapons in this game is called the pumpkin smasher. Oh, where is it called? Where is it? Uh, I don't see it. I'm in the wrong. There it's it by is. The pumpkin Punishers. It's actually called the Pumpkin Punisher. It's up be called the Smasher. And I, by the way, Ars Eagle is still on my side. Just to making sure. So we're doing frames. about 170 frames almost. This frames are going to be kind of all over the place. But let me. So let's see edit. the average. No, the, the average is 100. 65, but the, the max is 175. So it seems like it's doing better on Beam and G than this game. Well, we'll see. This game is probably a little bit more graphic intensive yep. than Beam, Beam and G, but. But Beam and G is still getting upgraded so, till it'll be the most graphic intensive game. All right, here we go. We're doing 180 frames, oh, 190. I want to see that precision boost kick in and see if we can do more than 190 frames. But this is ultra high settings on the 3080 Ti GPU. Yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. Hey. Oh. 
He'll pay for that. Oh, buddy. I'm not gonna get slaughtered. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Play with my eyes closed? No, I'm asking the viewers to. Oh, relax. We're not worried about this whole game. Oh, he's scared. Uh, what, what's your rather question for all the viewers out there? Trying to keep that screen straight. Anyway, okay. Jack. What's your rather? Play this game for the rest of your life or can you play Beam and G for the rest of your life? I'd definitely rather play this. I'd definitely rather play Beam and G. Comment, comment down below if you want to play <laughs> Beam and G or Call of Duty for the rest of your life. What? Where did they even come from? I don't know. Probably from the wilderness, you know, the void of Minecraft. <laughs> Or that's easy. So let's check on the frames over there. It's pretty good up there. So 160. Our GPU is at 78. Yeah. So we're pretty comfortable. Pretty basic specs and performance. Can you speed up the voice? How do you do what? I guess speed up the voice. Maybe. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty cool here. Just testing this one, this one down just to see. So yeah. Oh, this monitor cool. is pretty cool too. Because this monitor, remember, this monitor is it's up there. This monitor does. Alright, so that was enough of the game. So that gaming experience on this Asus ROG system, the Ryogen cooler on the CPU there, which I think really helps out a lot for that 7900. You're probably definitely going to need yourself to have a, a nice liquid cooler to take advantage of the performance, and then having a nice GPU probably a 30 series GPU, 40 series GPU. But a 40 series GPU is crazy because look at all these extra cables. You're gonna need two more extra cables. So anyway, I love computers. I love building them. I've built them for my family. Um, I built one for my son or two or three for my son, a couple for myself. Uh, and again, a bunch of relatives like my brother, uh, my sister, my little nieces, some, some friends and buddies, but <laughs> oh, no. something happened to Luna no. Ares. I think Jackson got upset and ripped his head off. No, he got too upset and tried ripping your computer case open, but he couldn't, so his head popped off. Look, let's get okay. Luna Ares back together, okay? Okay, there you go, but Thank you, you. Jackson was such a punk for taking off my head. I know, Luna. It's all good, man. You hang out and just relax, okay? Look, Gamer Jax, let's see how you do behind the wheel, man, in 4K. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, going fast. This is Jax playing BMG in ultra high settings on the Aris system. And he's going over 100 miles per hour. Oh, my goodness. I can one more time. What do you think about checking out these systems playing some cyberpunk? Jackson are playing some other games. Yeah, I think that would be fine. I'm just driving up this hill casually. Oh, oh this car is being wrecked. I'm going to fly in first person now. Last the last thing I need to do. Yeah, is we fly. have one more special thing to do after you do your flying in first person, Jackson. Yep. I actually noticed that um I noticed something. We're gonna check it out right after this. So I gotta go camera one, Let's parking brake off. And, and now Jax is behind the wheel of a flying one. school bus. Yeah. Uh, That's amazing in 4K. Uh, Whoa, uh, uh, you've taken uh, uh, to the flight. Uh, uh, this is incredible. He has a sun visor up there. I'm, He's getting to see the little island, a little city, controlling the bus while flying. Turbo boosters enabled. Oh, no, it's tricky. No, pull it out. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, look, guys. We had this very special thing to show you here. I forgot when I built this case to actually take off the peel off this front end of jeez. this. Again, this is a brand new case, a brand new motherboard. One of the best, I think. The raw Crosshair G, this, the X670E motherboard, the 240 Ryogen cooler, like these are definitely some of the most amazing parts you can get for PCs this today. Is hot. The AMD, oh, is it? This RS here? <laughs> oh man, it is warm. These ultra high settings got this thing. Let's go ahead and take this peel off, guys. Oh. 
Oh. Are you feeling that? Yeah. That's all. Whoa, that looks so much better now that it has its peel off. Oh, That's what we do here. We game it up. And, yep, I fire up. Three E next gen. And my car's on fire. <laughs> 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 it's pretty cool. The guy from Jeepers Creepers is in Call of Duty. Did anyone get the chance to watch that new movie, Jeepers Creepers Reborn? No one watches it because it's too inappropriate. <laughs> Maybe for kids, but for adults, it's pretty fun. All right, this is awesome. Night Rider. It's like kind of like the Night Rider events, like 20th, first century, oh, okay. 22nd century Night Rider. I don't know. Wow. Like a futuristic Knight Let's Rider turn car. Let's on the lights here. That show with Michael Knight. Okay. Uh, David this Hasselhoff is, back is, in the 80s. That show ooh, was amazing. This car is, oh, I think nice. there was a few video games made, actually, for Knight Rider. That was pretty dope as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoa. This is a Knight Rider. He's, he's driving the Knight Rider out of control. <laughs> Let's see it. Um, I'm leaving. It's so dark. It can't, it's kind of... Can you go back to day? Let's see another day. What's this day? Um, sunrise. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah, yeah let's now let's see, see the Night Rider. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Here, get it's a new Night Rider. Okay, get a let new me Knight get Rider. back in my car. There you go. Turn it around. Let's take a look at the front end. I want to see this car. Oh wow! Look at that thing. Look at I'm the gonna detail. I'm going go this way. I'm going to go. That thing is sweet. How does it look on the inside? Um. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, you're just one wrecking a million one dollar car. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's like so fast, you can't even control it. No, it's like, it's it drives to the right. Ow. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 4K settings out of control.